Hey, how you doing? I'm Brian Prather, uh, participating in the uh, ZAP 9 project out here at Lone Mountain. Uh, we're having a lot of fun doing it. Beautiful day, great day for art. Hi, my name is Valentin Yardunov and uh, I'm one of the ZAP artists for ZAP 9, Lone Mountain. It's a great opportunity to present my art and uh, hopefully everybody will like it. Hi, I'm uh, Jake DiPio. I'm a local artist here in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, I'm, it's an honor to be working with Clark County for the ZAP project and it's real fun and uh, just glad to be here. We uh, actually had a uh, conversation with the community here in a meeting and you know we had this dialogue with them what they wanted and of course they wanted the art to blend in and all but also they, they also wanted the, the people of the community to to understand you know that, that there's life here other than people like there's there's insects there's animals this project especially I was inspired from the Lone Mountain right in front of us and I was thinking like what can I do something different than uh, my usual things that I do it in my studio and my style is the, like a geometric and more abstract. Uh, I decided to uh, get inspiration right outside from the mountain, uh, like a little bit like a kind of plain air. And then I introduced some more uh, from my style geometric kind of stylizations and uh, presented to the people around there two uh, freeways on both sides. So this is one of the busiest intersections in Summerlin. The first thing that came to my mind is think outside the box because obviously it's a huge box. And uh, it's just kind of a fun little idea because you got these mannequins or like dummies inside the box. So it's like, you know, don't be a dummy, think outside the box. And in actually viewing the piece, the viewer is now, if they stop and think about it for a second, they are actually now thinking outside the box. So it's a fun little play on words and, you know, just actions in the environment and everything. I actually have never done uh, anything outside like this before. So yeah, this is definitely new. Um, I got involved because uh, I, uh, some of the friends that I have, they, uh, they've done some of the past ZAP projects before. And uh, I've applied for I've applied for it, and they like my work, and uh, I'm lucky enough to have been selected. Uh, the first time I did Zap, this is my second time I, I'm doing uh, Zap boxes. It was over at the Maryland Parkway two years ago, and um, this was near UNLV. Lots of you know um, um, action from people walking by, and it, it's a different experience because pe you know lots of foot traffic down there. This is my uh, second ZAP. My first ZAP was uh, ZAP 7, Maryland. And it was my first uh, public, public art from uh, Clark County, Nevada, Las Vegas. And uh, this is my second one. But before that, uh, ZAP 7, it was a like, great opportunity to start with more projects outside. The sun is beating down on me. Uh, you've got, uh, I came up the other day and it was really windy. So as I was doing the back, I was trying to spray, and you know, you're usually about you know six to eight inches away, and I did that, and it just the fourth on the fourth box. Most artists are already like, okay, I know, I know how to wing this thing properly. <laughs> Painting outside is very nice, and I uh, invite everybody to come out. You know? I can even give them the paintbrush, and they can try to. Why not?